Hello everybody, it is I, Sakamoto, back at it again with another episode of Undertale. And we're at the end now, and this is gonna be the end of the game. You unlock the chain. So here we go, we we doing it. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Sorry about the last episode, I was just like, blah, and, but we're, we're picking up where we left off, and this will be fun. The sick human had only one request to see flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Well, that's sad. Yes, you know, back with grief. Or the human soul. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. He transformed it into a being with incredible power. I gotta do voices. This is so fun. With the human soul, Astral crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. I'm getting goosebumps. The music, oh my god, and the story and everything. Astriel reached the center of the village. There he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human into it. I didn't know those were ducks inside of Washua's little helmet thing. I thought... I, I, I saw the black part as like his hair, but now I'm just seeing the white part as a, just a duck. This is weird. Okay, let's just keep going. Because maybe I am... Maybe it's not a duck. Maybe it's one of those... Uh, illusion things that look like it could be two things like the duck and the rabbit suddenly scream thing out The villagers saw Astriel holding the human's body human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Oh Wow The dummies the humans attacked him with everything they had He was struck with blow after blow Astriel had the power to destroy them all But, Astral did not fight back. Looks in the human, Astral smiled and walked away. Hope you guys can hear me. <laughs> a little bit far away from the... Wounded, Astral stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans have once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human falls down here and falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. We can shatter the barrier forever. It was the meme look kind of but whatever. So long now. King Askor will let us go. King Askor will give us hope. King Askor will save us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Guys, leave me alone now. Okay. I don't know what this does. Okay. I think we're about to meet someone familiar to us in this hallway. Maybe. I don't know. Oh yeah. Here, here they come. The infamous Judgment time, I think. Based on what I've done in the game. Or hey, something like that. So, you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, sorry, I messed this voice up at first. 
When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence, a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, Monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now, but you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have some you have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, believe you can do the right thing. Alright? We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. over here let's go exploring some more everybody uh oh it's a coffin there's a name engraved on it sakamoto it's empty oh jesus well that tells me the king already knows about me which means he's not going to be surprised at all to see me Oh, boy. You guys ready for this? Ba da 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 ba ba hey ba okay. Sorry, did I ruin the moment? My bad. By the way, every time I fought Asgore, and I think I died like a bajillion times, so that may actually, that's probably, there's a chance of uh, that happening. But the cool thing is, the song, the battle, the battle music for this fight is probably my favorite song in the game, or at least one of them. Like, there's some other really good songs. Oh, there's someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Anyway. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You could be my new dad, you know. And Toro could be my new mom. And things would be cool if you didn't... You know what we must do. When you are ready, come to the next room. Okay, I'm gonna go save again so I don't have to have that conversation again. Alright, time to go fight my dad, I guess. Hey, it's a rite of passage for all young boys and men and blibbity bloobity blah. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Just, just watch Hot Rod, you'll understand what I mean. I'm just kidding. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Yeah, a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you're not, I understand. I'm not ready either. The end. Alright guys. Let's do it. This is intense. This is the burial. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I 
Sí, eso es otra. Tari. Oh, what the heck? Why do the hearts have to show up? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination! Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. I should have got some health stuff. Astro attacks. You quietly tell Astro that you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Crap! Well, that was convenient. God dang it, man. All I have is five glam burgers. This ain't gonna work. You tell Astro that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh no. You know what? I hate to do this. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. Seems talking won't do any more good. until he kills me and I'll get some health and stuff. <sighs> Never mind. Oh, what the heck. Maybe I should have done what I said I was going to do. Frick! What the frick? Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Oh, come on. Yeah. I'm gonna go get some uh, health foods at Snowden. Sorry to take a little detour. You know what? I might edit it out. We'll see. Sakamoto, see the tournament. Blah, blah, blah. I'll be back, buddy. My new friend. My new pal. All these save points everywhere are convenient. And that's cool. I like the way the lighting changes on the character. Even with the pixel graphics, this is incredible. One. Okay, I'm back now, everybody. Uh, so I may or may not have figured out a way to. Um, uh, look at the money I have. And I say at the hotel. Uh, I did not cheat. I swear. Anyways. Look. I just made things easier. So, hey, I wonder if, um... Yes, we know the elevator to the city is not working. Because of this. Uh, I wonder if... Wait a minute. Okay, so that was funny. Some sort of giant bottle of perfume. Ew, the rectangle. The cap is so comically large you can't open it. Hmm. It's a lamp. There's no light switch. It says that stars make their own light. Okay, Metaton. It's locked from the inside. That was my hotel. You hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. No, that's okay. We want it. We're at the end of the game and we've been farting around too much. And it took me like a bajillion years to do the things that I had to do 
to, to, I, I, to get this money. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Attack up. We don't really need that though. Guess we're just gonna buy a bunch more of these. Okay. Uh, yeah, we could get the Temi armor, but um, I don't want to break the game, quote unquote. Like, what if it freezes or something? Because we we got Temi armor. Lol. Okay. Uh, crap. There we go. Now we can buy a bunch more. Yay! With our infinite money. Our little spectacular day. Yeah, you got it, buddy. Thanks for the, all the expensive burgers that are not really that expensive to me anymore, but still. So this must be what it looks Yeah, anyway. Um. Let's just go. Bye bye. No, we have to walk a little bit. Oh well. That's okay. You guys can just skip ahead. And I'll see you in like. I don't know, not that much time because, hey, look, we're already there. Almost. I really want to listen to that song again. Oh well. I also really, really, really want to freaking beat the game already. So that's what we're gonna go do. Oh yeah, we're fighting Mr. Dad Man. Mr. Dad Guy? That's that's what the thing said before, right? Yeah, anyway. <sighs> I made the same noise as the elevator. Lol. And now we get to go on this long... Wait a minute. No, we don't have to do anything. We just go this way. Because the coffins are over there. And the throat. Oh, this is the way we need to go. Derp. I thought it was a good idea to go the other way for some reason. I thought this was going to take us to uh, the coffins. But no, the coffins are this way. Derp a derp a derp. Derp derp a derp. I'm Derpomoto. I'm Saka Derpo. Okay, finally. The wait is over. We have all our Glamour Burgers. Okay. Hang on a second, I need to see something here. Uh... I want to know if... the, uh, stained apron or the... uh, heart locket is better. So, Stain Apron says, Arm Defense. Oh, okay. I forgot about that, I guess. You do have to fight him until he's like almost dead and then Spare him. If I'd have known that, we wouldn't have wasted all this time now, would we have? No. But we know now. Thanks, Google. No, we're not doing that. Because of, am I using a different weapon? 
I might be. No, I shouldn't be. Hmm. I'll see if I can find a fight. Oh well. Hey! Oh, I still got hit by one. Halfway gone. Halfway gone. Well. Fuck. Determined. 235. God damn, I hate these. Well, we're not dead yet. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Tell Askor that he's killed you twice before. He nods sadly. Okay. Oh, so that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then, I would destroy humanity and let the monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this anymore. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one, 
this war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. After everything I have done to hurt you, you'd rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Hear me. I promise you. But as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. It could be like, like a family. What the frick? Oh no! Flowey! I am Ingio Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> you idiot! You haven't learned a thing! In this world... It's kill or be killed. <laughs> Sucks up all the human souls. Oh no. Wait, what happened to the game? Why did the game go away? The game just shut off on its own. What kind of fourth wall breaking shit is this? I'm just kidding. Oh no! I have to restart Steam. Wait, one day they all disappeared without a trace. Oh. Okay, I thought my controller wasn't working. Okay, Flowey, Flowey is being a doo doo head. He broke the game. Uh. Uh... What the heck, man? Howdy! Oh, sweet flower! Flowery the flower! Oh, you're a huge thanks! You really did a number on that old fool! Without you, I never could have gotten past him! But now, with your help, who's dead? And I've got the human souls! Well, I've been up to for so long. I felt as good to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Flowey has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death, so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over, and over, and over! What? Do you really think you can stop me? Ho 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 ho. You really are an idiot. All right, time to probably die a lot again. But I, hey, I got Ascor after the third or fourth try, and the first few tries, I didn't even know you're supposed to fight him. So, what the hell is this thing? I looked away from the screen for like a second to like kind of pat myself on the back. Oh boy, this is uh... okay then. This game was really fun. Oh, I got the attack for one time. I don't think there's any escaping death here. Pretty sure you have to die, and then whatever happens, happens. Alright. This is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up.
<laughs> Do you even realize what will happen if you defeat me? Okay, we really gotta try to survive as long as we can. Oh, he just ate me. Uh, okay. up there. Uh, there we go. This is a checkpoint, I think, according to Gugagagal. Uh, he called for help. Uh, okay. Hey, thanks to whoever's helping me. Okay, here we go. What the hell is this? That that's not weird, PP. Have to move around and collect these. Oh my god, really? I mean, I didn't expect that because the bandages just kind of gravitated for a dude. How oh, too sad. How oh, too loaded. Too sad. What the flip, Fally? Fally? Flowey? I'm Flowey the flower. Okay, I can't go past the stars. We call for help. I think it's the human souls that are helping me. Thanks, human souls. Slaughter, doom, murder, despair, trapped, murderer, trapped, murderer, terror, trapped, slaughter, horror. Oh, don't go anywhere. Thank you. Keep off your help. Ruin. Destroy. Thank you. Love. Luck. Freedom. Protect. Happiness. Okay. Is this four or five? Like, I lost count because I wasn't paying attention. I think we had the bandages, and then we had the stuff that wasn't coming towards me anyways. Then we had something else. Now we had another thing. I think this is number five. Which means... This is a... It might be six. I don't know if I'm really lucky. No, oh, that was number five. Okay, we got one more. Holy shit, this again. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Oh 
boy. Uh, okay, bullets. Great. This is catchy. I mean, it's an iteration of the song with the, you know, I mean, theme, I'm guessing, but it's still really cool. Something like that. Can I have lots of health? No? Okay. Okay. Let's be friends. Yay! We're all... Oh, yeah, I can have lots of health. Hells yeah, man. Thank you. I love you guys. Oh, the fence dropped to zero. Shouldn't he like not get any defense at all? Alright, he should just get hit and that should be it. Tank those hits! Come on, we can do this! I don't even know if I can get my HP to zero, but I don't want to find out. Fuck. I can't wait to do that. Participating here. Yes, I know the word is concentrating. I was being funny. Constipation complete. No, no, that's kind of a hot block. Oh. Uh -huh. You idiot. You really think I care, Fly? You the whole really think you can defeat me? Oh my god, all that world and you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. Your worthless friends can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. We call for help. Da, da, da. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is going to get to see you die. A roo? Roro, Roro Raggy. Really? Have you? Well, I'll just. Where are my powers? The souls? What are I doing? No! No! You can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! <sighs> Did I win? Oh, oh shit. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. This 
Burying me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. What? Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just... I can't understand. I thought we ran away. Uh, are we back in the ruins? No, we're back in the beginning. What the hell is happening? Uh, well, guys, that ends this episode of them. I'm just kidding. We'll wait and see what happens here. Honestly, I really don't have a choice, because I don't know what the frick's going on now. Yo, I'm gonna drink some soda. Some soda moto. Hey, I'm getting a phone call. Ring, ring. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling the underground. She's installed and in, she's instated a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyway. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But, even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. You recognize this number? Attention, human! I, the Great Papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of, except instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alphys with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing. But I think Alphys likes having her around. Uh oh! Hey, what are you up to, punk? Yeah! Please don't noogie the phone! Hey, who's in charge here? Me? Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good! Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't nuggy the skeleton. Anyways, I, now I'm working as Alfie's lab assistant. We're gonna find our way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah, and I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can even bench press seven children? Awesome, right? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Ascor. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault he... Ugh, darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, I'm dying. Snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alphys is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her, but she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? 
Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to be, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the queen. Hey, wait a second. Toriel, Toriel, do you want to? She says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... We wouldn't get that phone back for at least a few hours. We have this mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries, so I hate to cut this short, but... i seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now. See ya, punk. Look. <sighs> Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. It hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone with, through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way you, to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alphys? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness? See you soon. All right, guys, guess what? This ends part two of the end. This is going to be, yeah, this is going to be part two of the end. I'm going to upload this as a video. And in the next video, we're going to have the special that I was talking about, which is what's going to happen. It's the special ending and stuff. So, um, yeah. Have a great <laughs> Have a great <laughs>